we may have some all-time record high closes today. Looks like it. Now, those moves are being fueled by that cooler-than-expected inflation report out this morning. And here to dive deeper is James Demert, chief investment officer with Main Street Research, and Kathy Boschancic, senior vice president and chief economist at Nationwide Mutual. James, let me begin with you. You see the, the economy as kind of right where the Fed you think would like it, even though they keep saying inflation is too high for their taste. But so you don't think the Fed will cut rates at all this year, and you think we are in the incipient stages of a nice bull run. Yeah, Tyler, thank you. Uh, and good afternoon to you and Kelly. Uh, yeah, I think the Fed does. They got it right where they want it. I know the market would love them to, to lower rates, but, you know, think about it. GDP north of 4%. Uh, percent. You've got employment very strong. And wow, corporate profits coming in way better than expected. These are the hallmarks of a new business cycle, one that's really productivity based uh, with the AI tailwinds. And uh, you can have these kind of environments. The last time we had it was 20 years ago. Tyler, you and I might remember that from the 90s when you had yeah. the, the tech led market. Um, and you can have rates stick up high for a while without the Fed doing much. So too much attention on rates, maybe not enough attention on earnings, number one, and productivity growth, number two. Kathy, how does that strike you? Well, hi, Tyler. Happy to be with you and Kelly as well. Um, well, I, I think one thing I would you know, disagree with is I do think the Fed is poised to, to, to raise rates, uh, lower rates this year. And I think the data this morning keeps December um, and, and, and also September alive, really. Um, and I think that um, that said, I do think the economy has is, is been quite resilient. Uh, but everything's on the margin, right? So we're seeing some slowing in employment growth, moderation, maybe that's a better word. And then you saw that filter through to income. And then um, now we saw that with retail sales. So you're seeing this nice, kind of nice moderation, which is what the Fed wants. I would agree that's what they want. And they want the moderation of inflation. But I do think it opens the door to, to rate cuts. We're looking for 50 basis points this mm. year. Um, but I do agree that the equity market is putting probably too much focus on that and, and not enough on you know, where's earnings in the forward trajectory of the economy. Um, if the Fed gets this right, we get a soft landing. That is good for the equity market. Um, I don't think at this point that we're in you know, the early part of a new cycle. You know, we're probably still in the late portion of, of a business cycle. James, although you, if you think this is kind of a 90s boom, um, and I'm sympathetic to that point of view, but a lot of us remember the dot-com crash as well. So how do we thread that needle between enjoying outperformance, maybe enjoying those secular winners, maybe it's AI this time around, uh, but seeing a, a, the script end differently? Yeah, Kelly, these don't end well, um, <laughs> but they can go on for a long time. You know, in productivity growth cycles uh, that are usually led by tech, um, you know, oftentimes GDP growth, uh, GDP growth north of, of four, which is where we are. And think about this, the 90s, we had 10 year Treasury averaging 6% during that period, inflation at three and a half. Same setup. Uh, again, that's why I don't think the Fed needs to do much. We think we're early in the cycle because of this uh, margin expansion from AI. Uh, but I think, you know, here you sort of have to think, where are we in that cycle to, to manage risk? We think it's the very early stages, the first year of a what we think is a seven to nine year cycle. That's typically how long business cycles last. And so uh, P.E. ratios are still reasonable for most of the market, not the magnificent six, uh, but for most of the markets. That tells us we got a long way to go. Uh, but we're going to have to be as, as astute investors. Let's be careful about P.E.s versus growth rates as we go forward. I always suggest you stop losses, but that's more of a tactical thing that we do. Um, but yeah, manage risk as we go along, but we're early, early stages.